guys to the Zepex Studio production here to give you one more tutorial about extruding text. Now, it's a very simple concept, but there are no uh, plugins or techniques really that are available on After Effects to create 3D extruded text. In this tutorial, we will be using the Shatter built-in plugin to create 3D extruded text. So we'll first create a new composition. Let's call this extruded text. Make it 10 seconds long and click OK. Now let's just basically type some text. Okay, just type in effects depot. Okay, that's our text. Now this cannot be really manipulated in any way so that you can rotate around it or view it from different angles, basically. Now, there are a lot of effects, as you may have seen in the movie Transformers, especially, wherein we have extruded text. Extruded means a text that has depth. Depth that is represented in a form of the text actually sort of backing out you know but it stays in the same position but it's backing out it just sort of extends backwards it shows depth 3d depth so basically that's what we'll be trying to create right now so we just typed in fx depot okay and now we'll just apply go to effects stylize well not right here simulation shatter and as you can see here in view we'll change it to rendered and we'll just go down into the shapes uh, shape section and we'll change the pattern from bricks to custom and we'll change our custom shatter map to FX depot or whatever text we've written then we'll go to the extrusion depth and we'll put it about 2 or maybe we'll make it 3 okay let's make it as you can see here this is what we call extrusion, but not appropriate as of now. We'll just go and in camera system right now, we'll create a new camera. Okay, it's going to be a 50 millimeter camera. I'm just going to call it FX Depot Cam. Click OK. And we'll go into the plugin of FX Depot, the text. And in camera system, we'll say camera position and make it comp camera and we'll go down into force 1 and we'll set the strength to 0 force 2 is just default, it's off by default and we'll go into physics and we'll change the gravity to 0 okay then we'll go to the lighting and we'll create a new light I'm calling it FX Depot Light make it parallel and intensity should be 100% and we'll click OK keep it right there and we'll just take this rotation tool right here rotate it somewhere about here and as you can see this is what I mean by extrusion right but as you can see you can see through it and that's a little bad as of now so anyways right now we'll just adjust the lighting okay just adjust the lighting a little bit yeah, that's pretty good enough. And now we'll go back into this and we'll change the light type to first comp light. Okay? And we'll go into textures and we'll change the color to any color you desire. And that will become the color of the extrusion. As you can see here, the side mode, back mode, and all those kind of things. So I'm going for a little bit of uh, say bluish, steely blue. Okay, and I'm going to apply that to side mode. We'll change layer to color. Now, as you can see, it doesn't seem see-through anymore. And that color has been applied. Th and this is how we create extruded text in After Effects. It's really good. It looks really good now, right? And so basically, this is how you create extruded text in uh, After Effects.
much of this. And in another few tutorials, I'll be explaining how to create um, really good things. Like, I'll just show it you. Hold on. This is my Transformers 3 project right there. I used optical flares in it. And this is really good. I'll just show it you. This is my Transformers effect. I have still have to render it out. And basically we'll be creating something like this from the trailer. You know, Earth goes dark and all those kind of things. And we're giving we'll be giving it a little camera shake and you know this optical flare kind of thing. Basically this is it. You can watch my tutorials to find out how to do that. Extruded text we'll be using for that kind of thing. And this is my main Transformers dark of the moon sort of thing. You know, I created by myself. It's not exactly how it was in the movie, but this is how it is. I just hope you just hold on for a few seconds. It'll come up. Okay. As you can see, uh, you can see a few smudges. This comes with a lens flare and that really adds a lot of effect to it. And that's why I really, I really propose that you take optical flares because it's got a lot of good pref presets, you know? I mean, you can arrange loops like this, you know, you can arrange these sort of optical flares. I mean, our normal After Effects lens flare is not as good as um, Video Copilot, which is amazing, really. And basically, this is what we'll be creating. I just wanted to tell you that. This is not exactly how it was in the real trailer but just it's giving it a new look you know transformers dark of the moon i'm really impressed with that film so basically now you can see it clearly this is how it goes and as you can see here i've incorporated um, a camera shake with the transformers zooming out and dark of the moon coming in i hope you like this tutorial and Please watch my other tutorials to find out how to create all of these things. Thank you and have a nice day.